All right, what started at 399 is now at 3500 so you're a, you're a good salesman. I have a shopping problem, apparently. What up, gang? I actually found this uh, cool OSS, like, real thin sweater the other day in one of my closets. I'm repping it. Anyways, today we're going to be going to run a few errands, and one of the errands is actually going to give you guys a clue as to something you've been asking for for like the last three or four months. So, let me go to Best Buy first, and then we'll handle the next errand. All right, so this is my MacBook. I have the MacBook Pro 15 inch with the 512 gigabytes of flash. It's about 2,400 bucks. But now, they have this new one with this touchpad, which is actually kind of cool. So it lets you actually like use different features here, and you can like actually track when you're editing videos and stuff. And it has a faster processor, and all this other good stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you, I just got hustled. There's like a really good salesman here. So I'm gonna buy this laptop and I'm gonna hook up Phil with my old laptop and Phil's gonna hook up Nate with his old laptop. That way that everybody has a newer laptop, work is more efficient and I can edit videos quicker. So, not bad, but it's pretty pricey. And I bought a new GoPro. <laughs> All right, what started at 399 is now at 3500, so you're a, you're a good salesman. You know those movies when they're interrogating somebody and he's sweating and stuff? That's how I felt with making this purchase. 3,500 bucks, yikes. I have a shopping problem apparently. All right, last stop of the day, AT&T. And why AT&T? Well, Stevie needs a new phone. Yeah, so Stevie lost his phone in his wallet, so I gotta give him my old one. I'm gonna send that to him, and then he can answer his phone, get his flight itinerary, and he's finally gonna be on his way back. So let me go handle this. I think I like these curved TVs, but I'm not gonna buy one. Mm, definitely not. All right, young butt plug now has a phone. I gotta get this in a package and then mail it out to him. I missed the cutoff for today, so I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But I'm gonna go play with the new laptop. What is your problem, Missy? Oh, how you doing? You miss me? You're officially a crazy person. Nope, hey, stop. Hold on, I'll get you a rag. Look what you did, you just spilled your food everywhere. Get back here. Hey, look. Sasha, I got a rag for you. Oh, Jesus. You're gonna break my arm. <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. You're crazy. Chill. Where do you think you're going to? <laughs> you dogs are crazy. Sorry guys, I gotta admit, I'm a huge Entourage fan. I feel like it's like the closest show to like the life that we live. If you guys watch the show, I feel like I'm a mix between Ari and E, because like I'm, you know, kind of like the guy's agent, manager, and friend. So yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, so Stevie's iPhone is restoring. Meanwhile, I'm gonna open up this MacBook Pro. So. Pretty nice. So as you can see, this is my 2015 MacBook Pro, and I have a little custom case here with the on some shit, the rig, and the come up stickers, and it's held up really nicely. So Phil, you're in for a treat. Now we got the 2016 slash 17 model. Let's see what else is in this box. One thing I will notice is that the new MacBook is actually a little darker gray. The aluminum is a little different, which I like. The lighter gray was cool. It's also a lot thinner, way more sleek. And the most important thing is that they got rid of almost all the ports. They're using this new USB-C, and that's how it gets charged. As you can see, the charger is actually kind of cool. You can remove the cable, unlike the original model. So unlike the old model, where you can only basically remove the head for different kind of adapters around the world, the back cable is actually stuck to the charger. For the new MacBook, they've eliminated that, so now you can actually just plug this USB-C here. I think it's slightly magnetic as well, and that's how you charge a laptop. But also, those are the only ports on the laptop itself. You can plug it into any of the four ports, and it should charge your laptop, which is pretty interesting. But the bummer is that my laptop has the HDMI port, the USB port, and the SD card port on one side. On the other side, we have another USB port, the aux port, two lightning cable ports, as well as a charger port. So 
for some people that do use projectors and other kind of things for HDMI, that's gonna suck, but you can always get the adapters to this new USB-C cable. The irony is that if you bought a brand new iPhone 7, then you can't even plug your headphones into this, and then you can't even plug in your USB here. So you need a dongle. So a dongle is like the new adapter for USB-C to either Firewire, SD card, to USB port, or to micro lightning cable. So that's one complaint that I've heard a lot of people say, but the theory is that they're gonna make a ton of cash from switching over to this, because now everybody's gonna have to switch to these cables, which ironically I bet for the new iPhone 7S or maybe the 8, they'll have it so that it goes micro lightning to USB-C, and then eventually they'll probably go USB-C from the iPhone straight to the laptop. All right, now let's power it on. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison between the 2015 and the 2016 slash 2017 model. One thing I noticed right off the bat, the keyboard is a little more compact and obviously with the new tabs up here, they actually switch. And if you listen, it actually has Siri as well. The touchpad area is huge. This is my hand. I have pretty good sized hands. Look at this trackpad. Boom, boom. Both MacBooks do have the light up keyboards. The keyboard on the new 2016 model seems to be a little deeper set into the actual laptops. Maybe it's to keep the buttons from breaking or from like crumbs getting in there since there's gonna be a less heightened area like there is here. Along with Siri, it also has the thumbprint or you know index fingerprint recognition. So that's pretty cool. So I'm setting it up right now. That way nobody can hack into my laptop. Not that it's happened before, but you never know. Pretty cool, Apple, pretty cool. I'm not sure if the picture got enhanced or the retina display is that much more powerful, but as you can see, this is what you know my current laptop looks like, and this is what the new one looks like. I think it has a little bit to do with you know the picture being a little better, but you know the monitor might also have been you know enhanced quite a bit. So there's a side by side on that. As you can see, also there's a little bit of a height difference. I think that has to do because this is a lot more sleek, and I have a case on mine, but you know, they're still pretty comparable in sizes. All right, so let's test out the new Siri. Let's see how she's doing on the laptop. So this is how you get the volume up. So as you can see, you just touch it and then you can just slide your finger over. It's much like your phone. All right, let's call Siri over. Hey Siri, what's zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. Burn. You go, Siri. You go. So the girlfriend just asked, so you're speaking to your laptop. Hey, Siri, text message Sylvette. Yeah, I'm actually flirting with her. Ready to send it? Send it. Yes. Send it. It's sent. Haha. -ha. That was all hands-free, guys. Whoa. I think it's restarting. Apparently Siri and my girlfriend cahoots and now it's pissed. All right guys, just stumbled upon the best feature of this laptop. The emojis are on the trackpad. Well, on this like touch screen area, but it's so cool. Now I can respond to your YouTube comments with little emojis. Cause there's this one dude that keeps trying to talk shit that I'm not pro and that I never was, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna blow him a little kiss there. You see that emoji? Boom. S my D. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so as you can imagine, there's a lot of programs that I have to get from this computer onto this computer, like Final Cut, Fireworks, which is this program, which I use to edit the photos and the thumbnails. So in order to get it here, I'm gonna have to use this new dongle. So plug that in, I'll be able to plug my hard drive and then get everything from this laptop onto this laptop in order to do the smooth transaction. Also, I really like this thing, man, it's really cool. Whoops, my MacBook got locked, so all I gotta do is place my fingerprint there, and now we're unlocked. Alright guys, it took a little longer for me to drag a lot of the files, and I'm still not done from getting some of the software over from my old laptop to my new laptop. I will say that I accidentally went over the time slot, and I ended up working till about 4.55am this morning. Then I took a quick nap. I don't even know what time it is now, but it's definitely daylight. So I'm running on very little sleep. And I'm very slow right this second, but I want to say that the new MacBook kicks the crap out of the old MacBook. It's so much faster. The new touch bar is so convenient. It changes with everything you're doing. So let's say you're listening to music, you can you know skip around using the touch bar. If you're 
you know, it's kind of like a phone too. Well, oh, excuse me. When you're typing, words will get suggested there, so you just touch them. So super convenient. So for you guys out there that are on the market and need a new laptop for school or anything like that, I definitely recommend it. One thing that you'll be bummed on is that you'll have to buy these $10 dongles in order for your peripherals to work, but it's actually not a big deal, and I think eventually they'll switch everything over, so that's gonna be pretty cool. But I wanna tell you guys the real reason why I ended up going out yesterday to Best Buy was because I wanted to buy a new GoPro. So yeah, I did end up buying the GoPro 5, but not before I accidentally bought this $3,500 laptop. Now, when you look at the bill, it's $3,500, including the GoPro, including Apple Care. He gave me a student discount because he thought I was like cool or whatever. But I will say that he kind of tricked me a little bit and nothing bad towards him, but he said that Best Buy had a new promotion where if you got the credit card with this purchase, your first purchase receives either 12 months of zero interest or 10% cash back on your purchase. He didn't say it was 10% in rewards, which is a lot different because that means I have to make another purchase at Best Buy. So I'm gonna call them today and get it switched over to the 12 months of zero interest so I can pay this bad boy off in no time. But again, Phil and Nate are both gonna get upgraded laptops, so that's gonna be good for OSS, right? Anyways, I'm gonna show you a quick unboxing of the GoPro 5, which was the only reason I went in there. I was duped, I tell you, duped. Also, I don't watch very many unboxing videos on YouTube, so I'm kind of new to all this stuff. So bear with me, but I believe you just want to see me open this bad boy and kind of give you my critique. Well, let's do it then. So number one, I'm really bad at opening things because every day is Christmas it seems like, so I'm breaking things. Like I'm always excited. Even if someone just gives me a little Kit Kat package, I'm going to rip that open. Which I have to admit, Nigel, I'm sorry. Thanks for sending this, but I ate some Kit Kats. It was a moment of weakness. Anyways, let's open this GoPro. I'm bad at this stuff. It's, oh gosh. Okay, got that removed without tearing the box too badly. All right, so that part of the box is gone. Now we got this little, got a cool presentation like all our GoPro devices. Let me take the GoPro off. So this is a new GoPro Hero Black 5. Why do they make the name so long? I don't know. The first and most important thing you'll notice is that this has no plastic protective case around it. So that means that the microphone is gonna work a lot better, which is huge. And as you can see, when you remove this, the casing, you'll first notice that there are actually no external ports anymore. So everything is behind a little door. So in order to get to the battery, I mean, that was traditional. You know, you have to open this door, get into the battery, but now the micro SD slot sits in there. And secondly, on the other side, we have the tiny port for your peripherals. So if you want to add a mic or a remote or anything like that. And when you unbox the actual peripherals, first thing you'll notice is that there's less of them. Now they've only included two little adhesive, you know, peripherals, the cable and the battery. So I'm gonna get all this together and I'm gonna go cruise around for a little bit. Don't know if that footage is gonna make it to this vlog because I'm already running late for today, but tune in for tomorrow's vlog because I'll be using the new GoPro, the chest mount, and I'll probably be going to Vans, which I think you guys like. And I'm getting a phone call from Francis. So I gotta start my day, guys. You know what it is. Gotta mute it first. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Much love, guys. Peace. It's not that we have a short time to live but that we waste a lot of it. Not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it.